Hi my loves. Um, no makeup for you today. No hauls. No tutorials. Um, I just wanted to have kind of a conversation about anxiety. Um, I talked about it a couple times on my channel, but um, yeah, I, I want to have a more open dialogue about it. I may do a series um, about dealing with anxiety. So if you want to have this conversation, just stay tuned. for a long time now you know I don't think I realized it in my earlier years um, I, but we didn't talk about anxiety a lot back then you know but I did little things like when my kids well still they're teenagers now and when I'm in a car with my kids and this started when they were very young I mean one and two you know really too young to understand I needed them to be quiet. I needed them to stop talking. <laughs> but we would be in a car traveling or just going, you know, 20 minutes down the road to go to the movies and they're playing in the back seat and my heart is racing. I'm shaking and inevitably I would end up just yelling, stop talking. You know, and I always felt bad because it's, that's not fair to them. Um, but anxiety is just this feeling and for no one that for someone that's not experienced it it's impossible to really explain but imagine that moment you get when someone jumps out from behind the door to scare you you know your heart's just like you get this adrenaline rush and you're like ah! living with anxiety is almost a constant you know, except you can't act like this all the time. So you have to concentrate very hard to not let people see it, um, which is exhausting in and of itself. Um, so your heart's racing. You have this adrenaline rush and you know you're overreacting. You know it's ridiculous. Um, but it's there. So you're trying to remain calm. You're trying to hide it, which takes effort. And it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I think um, <laughs> a, a, another story that I have that... Um, it's, it's really not funny now. I mean, it wasn't funny at the time. It's funny now, but um, there was nothing wrong with me. Like, nothing happened. There's no reason I should be upset, right? I'm getting ready for work, and um, my heart just starts racing. And people that are around me, they, they know the signs. When, when that starts happening, I'll start doing this. Or I do this and that's me not realizing that it's starting right so your heart starts racing and I'm trying to get ready for work and I'm like because that's what you do to try to calm your heart down right you just breathe you breathe you breathe so I continue getting ready and before I know it I'm crying I'm in tears and I sit in my hotel room for 30 minutes staring at my door I could not make myself leave the hotel room like no matter what I did I could not calm myself down <laughs> enough to just walk out the door and go to work and uh, I called my boss just sobbing and I was like I can't come to work today because I can't get out the door <laughs> and looking back on it, it was so stupid like just leave just walk out the door just walk out the door but it's that panic it's that fear it's you know something's going to go wrong like have you ever had those days where you think today's just not going to be a good day like you know you you have you're fearful that something's going to go wrong that's my every single day like i can't 
can't sleep unless I take meds because when I sleep I either have these vivid vivid dreams or I just keep waking up and then finally I get frustrated and I get out of bed so I can't sleep these anxiety attacks causes these adrenaline rushes so I'm I'm trying to live during the day on practically no sleep and then I have these anxiety moments that cause this adrenaline rush so I'm tired all day and then you're trying to do that you're trying to work you're trying to take care of your family and I live in this constant state of exhaustion but this constant state of not being able to rest and makes me grouchy I'm grouchy all the time <laughs> um, I'm snappy like I will snap somebody's head off like that um, for nothing you don't it, you don't have to do anything you could just say did you do something to your hair and I will snap your head off <laughs> what the fuck do you mean did I do something to my hair it's just I, I, I want to be alone like, I think that's the hardest thing for my family to deal with. I don't want to be around people. I love my children. I don't, I want, I love them and I want to be around them and I want to enjoy them. But it's hard for me. So, I'm constantly having to focus and that's exhausting. So, like in this house, I have my own living room. And you need your quiet time, you need your downtime, because you have to let your mind rest. I think that's the hardest thing. When I'm interacting with anyone, um, it, my children, my mother, anyone, whether I know them or I don't know them, your mind is constantly focusing on what you're saying, what you're doing, how you're acting. That's that anxiety level, right? And that constant focus is exhausting. So it's exhausting to have a 10 minute conversation. Imagine going to work for eight, nine, 10 hours a day, right? When I get done with my work day, I want to be alone. I want to let my mind rest. Doesn't matter how much I love you. <laughs> It doesn't matter how much I want to spend time with you. I physically and mentally can't do it. I can't. And that's, I think that's the hardest thing for people to understand. I physically and mentally need a break from everything. I need to shut the world out for a while. And when I say I'm ready to go to bed, I need to go to bed. And when I say, I need you to stop talking to me, I need you to stop talking to me. And when I snap your head off, I don't mean it. It just, it's just my natural reaction. <laughs> I don't mean it. So my advice to anyone who, it is a constant struggle, constant. somebody's home <laughs> it's a constant struggle um, for someone with anxiety and the last thing that I want to do is explain to you what I'm doing in that moment the last thing I want you to do is try to comfort me I need you to just understand when I need my space or when I can't socialize when I say I don't want to go I need that to just be okay when I say I don't want to do something, I need that to just be okay. So my advice to anyone who is living with someone with anxiety is you do the research. You learn about anxiety. You learn about what they feel like, what they go through, what they need, what they don't need. You do that on your own. Because the last thing someone wants to do is have to explain it to you, right? Um, so anyway... I'll do this series. I don't know that I'll do it every single week, but I'll kind of update you guys on where I'm at and how I'm doing. I've had, the last probably two or three months have been really bad. Um, I've had to go on a second medication. Yay. <laughs> um, I've broke out in hives. It's just, just 
all kinds of fun stuff. But um, it got really good, and now it's getting really bad again. And I took a week off from work this week, and that's helped a lot. I feel a little bit more rested, a little, as much as I can. <laughs> um, but I'm nervous about traveling. Um, I hate to travel. I don't like to get in my car and go anywhere. So I'm nervous about the traveling. I'm nervous about going back to work, exhausting myself at work. Um, so what happens, see, I'm starting, I'm starting to think about all these things that I'm dreading and it just causes the anxiety to increase. So anyway, we'll do this series. I might do a little vlogging next week and let you know how it's going my first week back. Um, that might be fun or it might be a total disaster. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, if you think it's a good vlog, I, if it's a good idea to vlog, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to continue this series, just give me the thumbs up.